market is changing. So the market has changed substantially over the last three months. How many rate increases has the Bank of Canada done in the last eight weeks? <coughs> How many more are coming? Probably one. More. At least one. At least. In February last year, they changed the minimum down payment over 500,000. So it's 500, or 5% up to 500, 10% above. So that was an impact. October 2016, we introduced, uh, or the Bank of Canada introduced stress tests. So stress test meaning that if you had less than a five-year fixed term, you have to qualify as a borrower at the posted rate. So that at that time was 464, it's now 484. Mm -hmm. So that came in in October. November, they extended that stress test to include anything that is insured. So no more qualifying five-year uh, if you have a CMHC, Gen Worth of Canada Guarantee Insured Mortgage. So anything less than 20% down, you had to qualify at the qualifying rate, not at the rate that the client's being given. So this included, with a lot of the other lenders outside of the banks, you're looking at lenders that could no longer do five-year fixed rates qualification anymore because the other lenders had to pool their mortgages to insure them as a whole. So significant impact that everybody was scared what's going to happen in the market. So what we found was a lot of people going and a lot of us had conversations in this room about the bank of mom and dad. So the bank of mom and dad, and some of you may have actually been to the bank of mom and dad, but the bank of mom and dad has been a huge presence in the market. So lending or gifting is usually what we call it. Uh, gifting up to 20% of the down payment to allow people to qualify at a five year fixed rate. So if it was you know 2.99%, they're qualifying at 2.99% instead of qualifying at 4.84. Allows people to get into the market. So really big change that the government's talking about right now is taking away the ability for us as financial institutions to qualify at the posted rate of, or the, uh, the actual rate that they do today. So today, at this moment in time, Bank of Mom and Dad is open. It's still open, still functioning, still I have a lot of transactions that are going through that way, where Mom and Dad are gifting $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 to allow their children to get into homes. You want to ensure every one of your clients needs a pre-approval as soon as possible. And the reason why is when they make these types of changes, if you have an application in the system, a lot of times we can hold that application for that 120 days with the rules as it is at this moment in time. So really important that we're qualifying. Now at RBC, we always look at the 4.84%. We always look at what does this mean for the client because they have to be able to weather an increase. We've seen eight is this, I've seen eight rate increases since June the 1st. It's really important for clients to be locked in with a pre-approval, because our pre-approvals are firm, 120 days. So if you have a client who is buying a house, $3,000 in property tax estimate, $75 a month in heat. We have to use those factors in order to qualify. <coughs> if they have, are buying a $500,000 house with 20% down, and it was 2.99% mortgage rate, it would, they would need $66,000, just over $66,000 in income to qualify for that, assuming no other debts, no car payments, no anything else. Put it to today, so our rate today is 3.29%. They would need 68,000. So that's minimal. That's a minimal impact and their payments go up by $50 a month. So it's insignificant. You don't need to worry so much because that, I mean, people can weather. They may not be able to buy 500,000, maybe they can buy 480,000, maybe by 490. So not a significant change. However, once you go to the qualifying rate, which is why a lot of people have had five year fixed terms right now, they need 78,000 in income. So it goes up by $10,000 that they have to make in order to qualify for that same home. Really important to get a pre Even if they are second time buyers, they need to ensure that they understand what this means. They can't just take equity and buy. A lot of people confused about, well, I have a mortgage for 230,000 today. I'll just move it to the new house. You have to qualify for it. So you have to qualify at 4.84. So really important, any buyer, anybody who's selling and buying a house should have a 
competition with us because people are taking advantage of still the low interest rates and they're looking to make their money work for them. So we see people who are moving over into our home life plan to free up equity to do renovations. We see people freeing up equity to purchase investment properties, which I'm going to go to next. There's a lot of activity in the market. So RBC pays for the cost to move it over in terms of the legal cost, discharge fee, and the appraisal cost. We do not pay penalties. No institutions pay penalties. The only banks in the industry, I've done a couple already this year because of that, five and six boxes. So we consider those residential, not commercial. So really important if clients are looking to, to buy five and six boxes. So if you have a client who's doing an investment property, so in front of all of you, you've got a little sheet. Clients that are getting an investment property mortgage with RBC, they get $500 worth of junk removal services as just a thing. Maybe yeah. I want to 